Hey there guys, so um, Tuesday was the second week in a row that I've um, got through the front squats at 180 kilos for 3x3. Three three. Um, in one of my prior comp preps, I ended up doing a top set of 5 at 180 and that ended up, you know, towards the end of the prep giving me 365 kilos on, you know, the competition back squat, um, you know, with the knee wraps belt and out the mono lift. Um, with some of these, like, you know, I could have done five reps, um, especially like on the first set and even the second set because the pauses are longer. Um, when I did the set of five, the pauses weren't anywhere near as long. So um, general strength is getting, you know, greater, you know, the more time I obviously train. But um, it just goes to show, you know, playing around with, you know, natural stones and doing, you know, what you enjoy as well has a big carryover to just general training. But you got to pick exercises that are going to help you achieve your goal. For me, you know, front squats, I'm really forced to keep, you know, my chest up. If I have any tilt forward um, or too much tilt forward, I end up losing the bar. So it's sort of like a safety mechanism in that way for my lower back. I can't grind out heavy squats. Um, traditional back squat, different thing, you know, sometimes form gets away from you and you can just grind out the rep um, and you pay for it later, you know, especially if you end up hurting your back. Um, with the front squats, you know, the pause and everything else, it's mainly to help, you know, work the quads really quite thoroughly. Um, I'm then doing some stiff legged deadlifts, some single leg um, hip, you know, bridges and raises and other bits and pieces just to work the hamstrings and glutes um, more thoroughly to help pick up the slack, you know, that I've missed um, in terms of, you know, leg training um, by only by doing the three by threes. But my you know, mid and lower back, uh, even my upper back to a huge extent, is getting hit really hard with, um, you know, the Atlas stones and the natural stone um, lifting. The other thing that I always include in my program is pull-ups. Most days, you know, minimum, I'll just do two sets of 10. Even after front squats, you know, I just do two sets of 10. I just find it's a really good exercise to help me almost decompress, for lack of a better term. But, um, you know, having a strong upper back, it's functional for everything else. You know, it helps with the front squats. It helps with the bench press. It helps obviously with at the stone lifting and lifting in general. So, um, you know, just a little bit of update. That's what I normally do on a Tuesday. Um, Saturdays are normally the same as a Tuesday, but um, instead of the heavy front squats, I'll be generally squatting with either an Atlas stone or trying to squat with the um, big blue stone block. Um, this one here, you know, putting the stone up onto shoulder, that's what I find is really quite taxing on my lower back. Um, Wednesday, I woke up, I was like, oh, you know, really quite sore, not in a negative way necessarily, but it's something, you know, I got to be a little bit more wary of. Um, and then after, you know, that rep, I tried doing it again with the same stone, um, but it was just too gassed and, you know, it was after front squats as well. Um and another big thing I've noticed, you know, with Atlas stones, because I've got no tacky at the moment, so grip really becomes an issue. Um, so I'm really grabbing the stone quite hard, sort of with my fingertips and everything else and trying to crush the stone in. And I put a lot of stress on my biceps as well. So making sure that I don't hurt them. But um, yeah, guys, that's just an update from, you know, what I've been doing.